Hi folks, Scott Sager with you here again, RTC TV4. Today in the studio we have Larry. Larry, you are from the Rochester Church of God? Yes, sir. Tell everybody your last name. Pyatt. Pyatt, thank you. So Larry Pyatt, Rochester Church of God. Uh, we were contacted by one of our producers who is a uh, member of your congregation there. Yes. And uh, Jeremy Swango, we won't call you out on the air here, but uh, Jeremy's a great Rochester producer bringing all that footage to you, member of the church here. Wanted to get them into uh, talk about some of the fun stuff they've got going on this summer. So I'm going to kind of turn it over to Larry and let you explain to the viewers what's going on. Very good. Uh, we start, uh, we enjoy summers a lot. Yeah. And one of the highlights is the 4th of July weekend. And uh, for the last two years, previous two years, we have done a, uh event we call Light Up the Sky. Okay. And uh, this year it will be on uh, Friday. July the 5th, okay. from 7 in the evening until 11 at night, approximately. Um, from 7.30 to 8.30, we'll have free hot dogs, chips, desserts, drinks. And uh, then there will also be games for different ages and different activities. Excellent. Um, so we, kind of a family time there from 7.30 yes, to 8.30? Yes. Sir. Excellent. And people can enjoy it. Um, they, we just ask they bring, all they have to bring is a lawn chair. Okay. And to sit and relax. Um, at nine o'clock, we will be having uh, gift card drawings. Wow! For people, for guests who register, okay. and uh, we have a registration table set up, and then uh, we also uh, uh, just uh, have a sparkler uh, area. Okay. For for kids, safe fireworks, safe, right? Safe, safe fireworks, fireworks for the kiddos and everything, and then uh, a sparkler station, and then we have uh, we have a, a area that's uh, placed off, and at dusk we begin a fireworks show. Really, and. Uh, We've done it, like I said, for the last two years, and it has been one of the funnest things that we've done. That is fun. Now, where are we doing this? Out at your property? At our, at our church okay. property. Let's tell everybody so, where you're at. We're at uh, 3048 Southway 31, okay. or as many people would say, the, the corner of Old 31 and New 31. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. So as you're going out to, to the, you would head out the east fork of the road, if you will, uh, go to the east side of Smith Farm Store, head out Old 31 there. And right before you get to New 31, on the right is the Rochester Church correct, of God. Correct, correct. Yeah. Excellent. You've got a nice uh, property out there, yes, plenty sir. of room. Plenty uh, of hopefully room. we'll have some so. great weather on the field, right? right? We're, we're hoping so as well. <laughs> and uh, you may want to bring some mosquito spray as well. Yes. They're a little bit thicker this oh, year. Oh, they have they been this year. So. so, okay. So, again, the Rochester Church of God, this is their July 5th celebration. They call it Light Up the Sky. Yes. 7.30 to 8.30, they're going to be having family time, fun games, and whatnot. Right. And you'll get into some uh, other festivities as well as uh, sparklers for the kids and then fireworks show. Starts about what time for the fireworks? Um, dusk, basically. That's okay. kind of what we said. Yeah. 9.30. Dusk can be 9.30 or 10 o'clock, right? Correct. Can't it? So, yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Now you've got some more going on this summer. Yes, sir. On uh, Thursday, the uh, 25th of July, mm -hmm. we are uh, hosting uh, our second annual Cuts for Kids. Okay. And uh, what we have, we have six uh, local. A licensed hairstylist okay. that will be coming in and giving uh, free haircuts for kids, and that's from 9 a.m. in the morning till 7 p.m. that night. Okay, wow, and different that's times a full day. day. And uh, it's a it's a walk in thing. Oh, it's not we're not taking appointments or anything. Just walk in, and uh, it's just with everything that's going on, it's a great way to kind of bless people. And uh, what a neat help thing! Out. So it helps out a little bit on the like pocketbooks that. too, yes, with sir. regard to the families getting their kids ready to go back to school. Yes, because that's. Pretty what, close to them. What so. a brilliant idea. That's a unique idea. I've heard many in my chair here, sure. and, and that's sure. really neat. So, again, that's what day? It's on uh, Thursday, July the 25th, and okay. it's in the Church Fellowship Hall. Okay. We'll have everything set up. That is super and, neat. Uh, and that starts in the morning, you said 9 to 9 7? 9 a.m. till okay. 7 p.m. 9 to 7. Bring the kiddos in. Uh, what's considered a kiddo? Are people going to need a cutoff? Uh, they would be a, a, a student. <laughs> okay. So, so a so student at one of the I'm local chilled. schools so. would I meet <laughs> and I don't have enough. So. Me either. <laughs> I'd be done quickly. But um, it's a, that would a really neat uh, thing to bring to the community. Yeah. So what a blessing that is. Yeah. So. So yeah. that's on the 27th. We're excited about that. So. Okay. Yeah. 27th, right. is that correct? 25th. 25th. Thursday. Sorry. It's on a Thursday, July 25th. July 25th. We'll put that up on the screen. This is my memory, sure. and I'll remember to put that up on the screen for you Excellent. as I edit this. Excellent. So that's a couple of great things going on yeah. at the Rochester yeah. Church of God down there on yeah. 31. Okay. Uh, we also do a, uh, once a year, usually in the summertime, and okay. we try to do this right before school starts, is we, uh, we go to a local laundromat and basically... Um, for years, I didn't really understand that uh, 
how expensive laundromats have become mm -hmm. until I had to go to one. And uh, that puts a big kink in people's budget. Sure and does. so what we do is during the year, we have a big jug in the back and we collect quarters and change or whatever. And then uh, we just go in and we feed quarters into the machines and want to bless people and <laughs> talk with people, if, you know, if they what need a special prayer ministry, for something. Larry, that and is so fantastic. We've done this for the last several years really... and we, we really enjoy uh, the opportunity to, uh, to bless people and, and, uh, you know, thing. it's, uh, we just tell them that these machines have already been paid for, but mm -hmm. please use them. That is and, so uh, neat. So it's really a, it's really a fun activity. And that's coming up so later this summer yet? It would be on August the 2nd okay. and the 3rd, which and will be a Friday and a Saturday. Oh my gosh. Fridays from, um, from 1030 in the morning till five in the afternoon. Okay. And then Saturday from eight in the morning till five in the afternoon. Great. We're going to put Or that until we run out of quarters. Right. Until the quarters so, are gone. <laughs> sure. Well, so. uh, a couple of angles here. Um, do you want people to give anything to this? Um, mm. You've already got what you no, need. And you're gonna... No, we've uh, we've been blessed, and okay. we can be a blessing. Very good, very good. So he's not so asking for not asking anything for but donations. participation. If you want to be a yeah, part of that, just come at all, and be a but, part uh, of that. And, uh, that's neat. And so we enjoy that. Uh, you know, some of our future events too. We have in September. We have a grandparents' day. Okay. And a guest speaker and dinner at the church nice. noodles and stuff nice. and that's september the 8th okay and uh, which is a national grandparents day and uh so, so it's it's just uh it's a great day and great. we have a background set up and grandparents can get their pictures, pictures taken, taken with their portraits. children and, so and all of those things it's pretty cool that is it really neat. Is. you guys so are very contemporary we, in we so enjoy many thinking. we enjoy what we do i love it and i love things so well, my friend, tell them about your regular services. Um, you've got a Sunday service, of course. Yes, sir. And then uh, you may have some things during the week. Why don't sure. you go ahead and take the opportunity to yeah. tell these folks okay. about that? We do. Uh, uh, on Sunday uh, morning, we have a, a Sunday school hour, which is from it starts at 9.30. Okay. And uh, if you need some sugar uh, or coffee to help <laughs> you get started, about usually around 9 o'clock, well, there's coffee and donuts in the back. But uh, yeah, and then we have Sunday school classes, different age, different ages, and okay. different groups. Yep. Uh, we do that, and then our worship starts at ten thirty. Okay. Um, we do a, a more of a contemporary style of worship, okay. and uh, and then um, we're usually about an hour and a half. Okay. Average yep. as far as our our worship services go. Depending on how the Lord sure. moves you that day, Depends right? On, or if we can get the pastor to be quiet. <laughs> but that's hard to do. That's hard to do. You got to beat him to do that. That's hard to do. So anyway, but uh, we that's do good. that, and then also we have a, um, a Wednesday evenings. We we have a um, uh, classes set up okay. for different age groups. Great. And uh, if uh, especially children, we have a place set up in the back for children that uh, you know. Uh, we were bringing some kids in uh, on our van, mm -hmm. and uh, we would give them snacks. We noticed they were really hungry, and so here a couple of years ago, we just started kind of preparing a light meal for them. Good. And so, uh, we so know that children. needs out there in this community. Sure. A lot of address that. Mm -hmm. It's good to know that you guys are, so. are touching that as well. Talk to me about Sunday. Uh, the parents with the younger kids, uh, especially the infants. Sure. Nursery set up. What, what do you have set up there? At the we church? have we have nursery. Okay. And then uh, uh, on. All but the last Sunday of the month, because that's kind of our family day when everybody sits in together, mm -hmm. uh, other than the nursery. But then we have a KC, which is ages uh, three to seven. Okay. And uh, and then we have one children's ministries, which works until ages eleven. Okay. Or, and so it's in the back, and so we have uh, we have great people that are uh, give of their time and their effort. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact. Uh, since we're name dropping, <laughs> Jeremy's wife is one of our main leaders for One K oh, Kids Ministry. So Kelly's doing does a great, great job. So well, just great anyway, people. So. We're, we're blessed in this community, and, and quite frankly, in all the communities that we're in, to have um, we've coupled off so often uh, where. Uh, a husband or a wife will start working with us and then suddenly they're going together to all Absolutely. these events and and these are just great people doing great things jeremy sure. i know you guys are maybe working on a uh, a youth center of some sort jeremy you came by and got some yeah. stuff from me for yeah. that and yeah we uh, uh it's probably been about 10 months ago we started meeting and uh for a Fulton county youth center mm -hmm. it'll be called the outlet okay uh we're uh We've been in the process of funds and yeah. getting things together. Yeah. We're hoping to open in the downtown area. Really? Probably, uh, we're hoping by the time school starts. No kidding. I mean, so we're really close. That's a lot of work. Uh, we've been working to try to raise three-year budget okay. for that, and uh, then find some sustainability, and, right? And, 
well, we didn't want to open and you know go for six sure. or eight months, and all of a sudden, hey, sorry, we don't have any money, so we're out. So, and a lot of the uh, the a lot of businesses and a lot of uh, different clubs and, and aspects have helped us Good. in the process. Have made a commitment to us financially That's to help great. in the process of that. And um, you know, I, it's it's been great for me. I've had a chance to work with some people that ordinarily I don't get to work with, yeah. and uh, you know, I've really enjoyed. Uh, the opportunity to minister and, and to share uh, with business people, you know, professionals and different things like that. Yeah. But, so it's been really fun. Oh, that's so. what a blessing. What a blessing they are to have. Uh, you know, we talk to folks from various churches around the area, uh, nonprofit groups, charity groups and right. everything. It takes it takes a village, as they say. Right. Yes. And everybody coming together, doing their part. Everybody you see me bring in here on RTC TV for these are people that we want to highlight. These are opportunities for you to get involved. This one, again, the Rochester Church of God, located on Southway 31, uh, as it junctions there with 31 South. Uh, they've got some great programs going on. So if you're looking for a home, if you're church shopping, as they say Correct. these days, so, please feel free to stop by. Larry and the gang would be happy to host you and uh, just let you see what they're about. Uh, no obligations, right? No, as they that's say. correct. Come and see. Yeah, come and see. So very good. Well, you've got the big event on July 5th. I'm going to run a thing here at the end, folks, where you're going to be able to see all these dates that he's listed here. So please take the opportunity to get out there, enjoy some of this, be a part of your community, help us make it better, okay? Yeah. And uh, Larry, thank you again for being thank here. My pleasure to host you. It's the first time in the right. studio. We'll get him back in here. It sounds like they've got a lot of great things going on there at the Rochester Church of God. So I thank you for watching. We'll see you next time right here on RTC TV 4.